what do you think? Let's just talk about going on with the election. I've seen your number of your posts on social media and some of your writings. You have studied this in detail. Let's start with the presidential level, and then I want to go to some discrepancies between the presidential race and the Senate races. What do you see actually transpiring as probably one of the more astute observers of the dynamics of this race and whether or not you have a prediction of where this is going to land? Yeah. Uh, you know, it's, it's very interesting. I think we're going to rewind a little bit. I think what you saw in 2022 um, was actually the limits of the the woke the anti woke messaging. So rewind back. I agree with that. This con- yeah, if we we're having this conversation and say uh, November 2022, after DeSantis robbed and Trump, you know, you know, kind of quickly entered the race, people thought he was th- thought he was done. I actually had this sort of the opposite read, which is that uh, the uh, monomaniacal focus on the culture wars itself actually uh, accrued uh, weird benefits in places. Uh, that were helpful in the Republicans keeping the House. So let's take Southern California uh, or New York State, if you're complaining about how the culture is actually uh, changing very, very, very quickly. Um, in blue states, there was actually something of an audience for this, but it was terrible in these swing states. The Republicans got shot out in Arizona, Nevada, uh, Georgia. They lost the Senate. Um, and I think you've seen that dynamic play out uh, a little bit again with Trump overtaking DeSantis in the primary and also Trump's... Uh, uh, in my opinion, superior performance to a lot of the more uh, vanilla Republicans that are running down ballot in the Senate races this time. Um, I will note that uh, if the, so for anyone in the audience who's unfamiliar, Trump is running, generally speaking, way ahead of the Senate candidates in any any races that's uh, significant. So for instance, like he's going to win Montana, probably win Montana by 20 points. Um, it's not a done deal that the Republican there, Tim Sheehy, will win, although I think he's favored. And then in other states that are safe red, like Ohio, uh, the Democrats may yet win. Uh, If this occurs, uh, this is the first time split ticketing uh, will have occurred at at this level uh, since arguably the 90s. Uh, 